treats 5-3 suited like most people treat pocket jacks. The difference is most people don't know how to play pocket jacks. Daniel knows how to play 5-3 suited. So Daniel called the raise with the baby connectors. He goes heads up against the ace queen of Schwartz Orbach. The flop is 5-5, five, five, Trey. That's pretty good for Daniel, a full house. Well, there's no real trick to playing 5-3 suited. If you're going to flop a full house, well, he does Daniel's work for him building the pot. Daniel just with a call. Turn card is a queen. Schwartz Orbach may like it, but he's going to hate it. Well, it's as if Daniel scripted that turn card, Lon. He's going to get more money out of Schwartz Orbach. Schwartz Orbach bets 6,500 with his queens up. Daniel thinking about it a little bit, just for effect. But yeah, he's given one of those should I call or should I fold vibes. He's doing a good job. He looks weak to me. Yeah, I'll commit the chips. Just a call again from Daniel. River card now is a six. No help to Schwartz Orbach. But with that board, maybe he figures his queens and fives are good. Schwartz Orbach bets 10,000. That's a value bet with no value in it. I'm going to go all in. So Daniel raising enough to put Schwartz Orbach all in. Flop the house on me, and it has to can't raise me on the flop so I don't hit the turn as well. So all, all so golden. Boy, that is one troubled 24-year-old courtesy of Daniel Negreanu. Daniel trying to keep a straight face. It's impossible, though. Well, this is why Negreanu plays a hand like five tray against a good-sized stack. You can take big chunks of chips away from these guys. Hard call for you on the turn, isn't it, for the house? In the house? It was difficult, but it was tough. It was tough when I did it. It was a good one to just pretend. Ah, like, uh, you know, I did I hum and ha, like, ooh, uh, uh, instant all in on the river. Instant. No. I learned that term. Learn it. Instant shove. The new thing. Tiny bit of block. I mean, pretty sick though, really, isn't it? Unlucky one. So unlucky for me. Schwartz Orbach seems to know he's beat, but he can't release his hand. And why is he covering his eyes? Isn't that what the sunglasses are for? <laughs> What to do, what to do with Daniel Negreanu. If I fold, yeah, can I say I'll give you 2,000 chips to show me a block? <laughs> 2,000 <laughs> cash. 2,000 cash. You can't do that. You can pay cash. Real cash. cash. Yeah. 2,000 pounds. Cold hard cash. cash. I've, I've been doing that for years. Is he stopped in there? He's going to pay you. All right, I'll yeah. fold, in it? He folds. Daniel takes the pot, and he's our new chip leader. Huh? Why don't you show me one? Because <laughs> if I show you one, you'll lower the hand. Uh, exactly. <laughs> if I show you the nine of clubs, you're just going to go, what the heck is that hand? I don't have the nine of clubs. I had a really good hand. Oh, no, you had a threes. I did not have five threes. I did not have five six. Four five. I did not have four five. How many guesses does this guy get? None of the hands that you guessed. <laughs> I'm about to hit the buzzer. that information. Five three could be in there. Either way. <laughs> yeah, like I would call a raise with five three. What do you think, I'm crazy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No six for Bonyardi, but a nine high flop could get Daniel in trouble here. Daniel looked a bit speculative pre-flop, and now he's picked up top pair. He might get in trouble. Shlomi continues. He's made it 15.25. It's a pot-sized bet. No slow playing for Shlomi. 5x pre-flop, pot on the flop. Daniel's still not convinced. He wants to call, but should he call? Daniel has a tough time folding pairs, and this is top pair. He should probably fold, but I don't see it happening. He does make the call. A big pot is brewing. No real threat out there to Shlomi's kings. Shlomi can't be too concerned about this turn card. 21.25. This time he decides to make it a little bit cheaper for Negrano. He went full pot on the flop, right around half pot on the turn. Surely this is where Daniel lets it go. Uh, Daniel is trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And he makes the call. He's not entirely convinced yet. Again, this river really doesn't change much. The only hand this helps is 6-7 or 8-9. Nine. 
And Shlomi only fires out a third pot on this river. He gives Negrano a fair price to make this call. He's getting four to one on his money. Well, let's see if Daniel can get away from this. Daniel is determined Angel Small River Bet is a value hand that Kid Poker can't beat. Although it's hard for him to rep a hand, he's bumping it up. Yeah, aces or kings? Can I say that or is that illegal? Heads up. I can say what he has, but not what I have. Okay. I'm thinking aces or kings. <laughs> you think right. Daniel really pulled the trigger correctly on that one. And Shlomi's now thinking, if you've read me for aces or kings, surely you can beat aces or kings. I have to fold. If I show one, do I have to show all? No. Okay. okay. I can show one? You can show one. I can show one if I want to? I don't feel like it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, got, I don't have a good one to show. Great start for Daniel. Almost a double float there, and then a bluff on the river, which got the job done. Negrano wasted no time pulling out the tricks from his playbook. Deuce here on the button. And he just calls, he doesn't raise. And he will check from the big blind. King nine suited is a hand that Eugene may have three bet with had Daniel raised. Queen four four. No one really catches anything. Negrano's ace high still good. Catch a lot of checks. Shulman's likely to end up playing the board. He checks as well. Actions on Daniel. And he checks as well. Still keeping the pot small. Turn card for free then. It gives both Shulman and Negrano straight draws, plus Shulman has a flush draw. A bad flush draw. It's not going to stop him betting, though. A bet on the flop may have been enough to take this down, but this board is full of draws at this point, including Daniel's gut shot. So he'll call that bet of 75,000. Kachilov gets out of the way with his king nine. It's a pretty interesting call from Daniel. Not sure if he's got some sort of read or what. Well, the eight... Sees both players brick on the river. Shulman representing with a bet of 155,000. It's his only shot of winning this hand. Nick straight bluffing with the second nut low. Daniel only has a bad ace yet. It looks like he's contemplating this call, which would be pretty insane. Then again, it's also insane to try to bluff Daniel on TV. He's made the call. Daniel makes more calls than a telemarketer, but in this case, he looks like a genius. Ace high's good. Nice call. Sick call. And in fewer than 50 hands, Shulman has gone from the chip leader to the short stack at this final table, while Negranu continues his march to victory and into the poker record books. Now we're talking. <laughs> Folds. Did you really do that? You are sick, kid. Wow. Queen three for Daniel. Raises to 4,000. Oh, I like this. Daniel's yeah. in position trying to isolate Rick, who plays huge, but is still an amateur. Lock folds. Ace queen for Kenny. Makes the call. Solomon's getting ridiculous pot odds. And calls 2,000 with king eight. So we'll have three way action to the flop. Look at Bryn Kenny. He doesn't care. He's a baller. 5 4 5 rainbow. Kenny checks. Solomon checks. Daniel going for some chips. And bets 6,000. Kenny's got the best hand with ace queen high. And he's in there. Solomon folds. Daniel's drawing very thin. Eight of spades on the turn. Rick would have paired his eight. And Kenny checks. Daniel raised pre flop, bet the flop. Let's see if he continues here on the turn. I'm always blabbing on and on about the power of position. Maybe Daniel will use it. And he does, bets two thirds of the pot. This is actually a pretty big bet from Daniel. Bryn looks suspicious and we know he'd be right. Daniel was raising Rick straddle in position so his range is very wide. But the counter to that is that this board does hit a lot of the hands Daniel likes to play. And Bryn's way behind even to a combo draw. He's gonna make the call. Don't look now, but our first pot of the night is getting pretty big. To the river. Deuce of hearts, big brick. And Kenny checks. We don't see a three barrel bluff from Daniel too often. Bryn's been pretty stubborn. I'm not even sure one would work.
but Daniel does three barrel, 85,000. That deuce didn't really bring in a lot of draws. If Kenny thought he was good on the turn, he might be able to make this call still, but that's a pretty sick bet. Not only does Daniel not three barrel very often, but I can't remember the last time I saw him over bet the river on a bluff. Kenny folds. <laughs> That's one of those, right, Phil? That was fun to watch. Not so fun for Kenny. Maybe it was. Let's see it then. You want to see it? You don't want to see it. It'll tilt you, for sure. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see on. it then. You guys really want to see? Make yeah. it even better. All right, show one for the boys. Come on. Let's do it. Let's Eh, what the hell? Ah, oh, that's like looking at an ex's Facebook page. Don't do it. 